Okay, Stan the Survival Man, and today we are going to be building a wicked crossbow out of that. Piece of square tube and a spring and some other steel, some time and welding, and we will have a wicked weapon to mount on the zombie okay, killer. Okay, so that's the bow that we cut out of the leaf spring. Uh, one of the largest leaves of the leaf pack, so there's the bow, putting some notches on the end, and now we're working on the body. So we're putting a guide, and we're cutting a groove in it. This will be the main body, and this of course is the winching mechanism. And we'll go on to the back right back there. Alright, that's the status so far. Alright, the next step on the crossbow is with the main body, we've cut this groove all the way up, uh, but not all the way down. In there, we angled the end plate and welded in the end plate, and then we countersunk a nut in there and welded it into place. And then drill the hole into our bow, and so that that fit right in there. And then tighten that up. That'll hold the bow in place. We're gonna also put some guides in there, weld some guides up there, so that. Uh, It'll hold the bow in place and straight. And so that's the next step. Okay, there we've welded on the guides that'll hold the bow in place. And we've welded in a nut in there so that the bow uh, will actually stay centered. And it's gonna be a little tight fit, so you gotta tap it in with a hammer. Okay, there's the trigger mechanism taking shape. This will be inside the main uh, stock tube. There's the return spring, and then there's the, the release. And there we go. Now we've got it so the bow fits in there nice and tight, and this bolt will hold it center onto the main tube. Okay, so now I've cut a hole in the bottom. I've welded in a trigger mechanism, which goes up here to the, the stop. So when you pull the trigger, back, it lets this spin, which will release the cable. All right, then we'll make some rails nice around it, clean this all up. So right now we're going to drill a hole in here to make the spring mechanism go into to keep the trigger in the up position. So that's where we are so far. It's coming along. Main body is done. Trigger mechanism works, releases the cable lock. Here's the rest of the parts that we've cut out. Rear sights, front sights, trigger guard. These are the side rails that will hold the aluminum rails for the, you know, for the cable to slide across there. And then of course the caulking mechanism which will be welded onto the back with the caulking mechanism as extended lever. So now I just need to assemble it. Okay, front sight attached. Put on this uh, rail here to reinforce it. Also to space out the aluminum guide that goes on top. We've got the rear sight mount put on and then our uh, ratcheting device with a new handle. And now we're gonna work on the trigger guard. Okay, welded on the trigger guards. Now you notice that there's a gap in between the two here because we're gonna eventually put a solenoid that will electronically fire the weapon, or you can manually fire it by grabbing the trigger. Okay, there's the final assembly, and the first coat of paint, it's got a tester cable on it. And as you can see, we've got it pretty well situated. We've got to build the mount on the bottom, that'll be a swivel point, so we can hook it up on tripods and on the roll bar of the uh, Jeep. And then right here we have the front, the crossbow, this front sight. Aluminum rails will be going on here to, for it to slide across. There's the caulking mechanism and the trigger down there. And then the ratchet mechanism without the strap in it yet. Put in a round piece of steel there. To, so that when the strap goes over it, it rolls on something fairly smooth. So that's, so far, the heavy duty crossbow. 
The bolts are being are made out of drill rod. And I set up a little jig here so we can weld some fins on it. But that's what the uh, drill rod looks like. We just put a little blunt end on it. Now, of course, we could put whatever tips we want on the end of there. We can. Weld. All right, these are the aluminum runners. It'll go on top, and they'll be screwed into place like that. Got a nice smooth surface for the cable to slide across. Okay, for the ratcheting device, you have two options. You can put a rod through here to crank this up. This is the release lever. And then, of course, you can use this side, which you just put a big half-inch socket ratchet set on. And there's your caulking mechanism. Ratchet mechanism on the crossbow. Nylon strap goes in here. Custom made little hook. Hook that onto the cable, right into that slot, like that. And then come back here. And like I said, you can either use a crossbar or a ratchet. You can see it pulling it back. And it's winding it right up there. So once the cable gets back to the catches, uh, you, it'll lock into place. And then you release the tension on the strap and remove the hook and then it stows right up here. I need two hands so let me show you how that works. And during firing and other times this is where the strap stays in place. Just locks right up in there. That's where the hook stays. Keep tension on it. And there you go. And now the see the guide is bolted into place. Now we just need to put in the real cable. This is just the tester cable. We'll pull uh, with these hooks here on the, the bow, we'll hook some straps, pull some tension on it, then we can get our cable into place. And that's how you replace cable. Okay, test of the crossbow. Here it is, final product. I got it mounted out here. There's our target. Right, we got our ratchet system in place. We've got our wax on the runners. There's our prod. And then the trigger mechanism. We'll see how it works. Test number two with a hollow bolt. Whoa. Check that out. Holy diver. Right in there and into the wood. Check that out. Wow. Got a lot of power. That has no fins on it either. There you go. Oh, I'm a freaking wicked crossbow with about 300 pounds pull. Yeah, baby.